Here I am in Marlboro, Vermont, and it is an absolutely beautiful spring day at the very end of March. And uh, I'm here at Marlboro College, which is one of the 40 colleges that changed lives that uh, Lauren Pope identified in his book, and that his successors have kind of kept that uh, torch aloft. Anyway, Marlboro is a tiny college. It's only 320 students, and it's a very it attracts a very uh, particular kind of student one who is very intellectually engaged and involved and, and, and individually driven in how they want to pursue their own uh, intellectual development. Uh, there are very few requirements here, only a writing requirement um, to graduate, as well as what they call a plan, which is a very, uh, it's an independently developed, uh, they didn't like to use the word thesis project, but that's kind of what it is. It's a performance uh, an assessment, a, a kind of a um, overarching uh, demonstration of the knowledge that a student has learned here at, has gained here at uh, Marlboro. Uh, fantastic little place, very cute and quaint, totally offbeat and funky. Um, is not going to be the right place for any student, but for the right kind of student who's looking for that uh, kind of quirky environment, it's going to be great. I had a wonderful conversation with a professor of philosophy here who really highlighted for me how focused this place is on teaching and uh, and fostering the independent um, investigation, the uh, independent learning, helping students to find their own muse and, and to let them follow it. Um, he was talking at great length, uh, having taught at many, several other universities, it, what a what a privilege and, and what fun it is to teach in a place that uh, really values intellectual inquiry at the undergraduate level um, and really fosters that that environment. So, um, really enjoyed my visit here at Marlboro. Um, what a great day! I mean, New England isn't always like this, but I'm really I'm really fortunate to have hit it right. So. Um, to my next stop. Today I had a Friday afternoon off and I uh, traveled in. Today I'm here in southern Vermont and having it's a fantastic spring day in uh, New England. The snow's still melting, there's a little bit of snow on the ground still, but the crocuses are starting to come up, peek through the, the hard ground. And I'm visiting Marlboro College in Marlboro, Vermont. And it's a tiny little college, 320 students, that is featured in Lauren Pope's book, The 40 Colleges That Changed Lives. It's uh, easy to see why that book and that uh, educator picked this college to be one of those 40. It's a very quirky, fun little place. It's, t again, tiny. Um, attracts students who are very intellectually interested. Not necessarily gifted, but very interested and engaged and really driven to pursue their own intellectual growth and to take charge of that individual intellectual growth. Um, I had a wonderful talk with one of the philosophy professors here who just couldn't say enough. He, he, been teaching at several other uh, very selective colleges in the United States and was really complimentary of the students here, really excited about the kind of intellectual environment that was very egalitarian. Um, a lot of the politics that exists on other campuses just doesn't, just doesn't exist here. And, um, and complimentary of the students. The curriculum requires students only to pass a writing requirement by the end of their third semester and it's pretty rigorous. It's a portfolio. You have to demonstrate that you can write. And then, um, in order to graduate, uh, you put together what's called a plan. It's like a major, but the plan can, in, it can combine, say, biochemistry and theater. It has to be intellectually rigorous. It has to be approved. But um, really, pretty much anything goes. And they took me into the uh, plan room where they um, have bound all of these plans from throughout the years. And wow, some of them are really, really cool and interesting and offbeat and and definitely rigorous. So um, I was really impressed with my 
my visit here at Marlboro. It's not going to be the college for everyone. It doesn't have this fancy, fancy uh, facilities. Um, students do their own work days. Faculty and staff are, are engaged in maintaining the campus. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a special kind of student who, who wants this kind of an education. But for that student, it's an excellent, excellent opportunity to, to enhance your own intellectual development and, and to take charge of that at a pretty young age. Uh, exciting place. I enjoyed my visit here.